So next type of problem in the uh, model one is a uh, multi-channel uh, queuing system. Let us take an uh, scenario or question. A computer technical support center is staffed by two people, Abel and Baker, who takes a call and try to answer question and solves computer problem. The time between call ranges from one to four minutes with the distribution as shown in the below table 1.1 so interval time distribution table is given here so able is more experienced and can provide service faster than the baker in this case when able and baker are both are free then we have to always choose an able because the question says that able is more experienced and can provide service faster than the baker which means that when both are idle the able takes the call. The distribution of their service times are shown in the table 1.2 and 1.3 respectively. In 1.2, the service time distribution for the able is given and 1.3, the service time distribution of Baker is given. Simulate this system for 6 customers means we need to develop a simulation table for 6 customers and the random digit for interval time service times are given. Even the random digits are given more than the N6, we have to consider only the uh, first five number, first five, uh, we have to consider only for the six customer for developing the simulation table. Now, here Abel and Baker are both are the people who are working for uh, system. When Abel and Baker both are the free, in that case, the, we have to always select an Abel. Because in question mentioned that Abel is more experienced and can provide service faster than the Baker. So, first we need to go for interval time distribution table. So, interval time distribution table is given in uh, table 1.1. So, I will write as it is customer number 1, 2, 3, 4 and its probability value is given as 0 0.25, 0 0.40, 40, 0.20, then 0.1. And cumulative probability for the first customer is 0 0.25. Second customer is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.4. We'll get 0 0.65. Then third customer is 0 0.65 plus 0 0.2. We'll get as in 0 0.85. Then 0 0.85 plus 0 0.15. We'll get as a 1.00 as a cumulative probability value. Now we we need to assign random digit assessment. So random digit assessment is from 1 to 25 for first customer. Second customer is uh, so 1 to 25 for first customer. Second customer is 26 to 65. Third customer 66 to 80. 86 to 0, 0. This is a random digit assessment. Next, we need to compute an interval time and arrival time from interval time distribution table. So, we need to develop a simulation table for 6 customers. So, I will write 6 customers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, random digit for first customer is not given. So, second customer is 42. Third one is 74. Fourth one is 80, fifth one is 68, sixth one is 22. So, interval time for the first customer is not given. So, keep as it is. So, 42, take 42 and go to interval time distribution table. So, 42 is following in this range and its number is 2. So, I will write interval time is 2, 74. 74 is following in this range and its value is 3. I will write 3, 80. It is following in this range, so its value is 3, I will write 3. 68, 68 is following under this range, again I will write 3. And 22, 22 is following in this range, its value is 1, so I will write 1. So, arrival time for the first customer is 0, arrival time for the second customer is 0 plus 2 is 2, arrival time for the third customer is 2 plus 3 is 5, arrival time for the fourth customer is 5 plus 3 is 8. Arrival time for the 6th customer is 8 plus 3, 11. Arrival time for the 6th customer is 11 plus 1, 2, 1. 
we have calculated arrival time. Next, we have to go for table service time distribution table. So, in table 1.2, the service distribution of able is given. So that is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And its probability value is given as 0 0.30, 0 0.28, 0 0.25, 0 0.17. Now we need to calculate cumulative probability. For first customer is 0 0.30. For second customer is 0 0.58. For third customer is 0 0.5383. Fifth customer is for fifth for this fifth customer 0 0.00. zero. This probability value. So random digit for the first customer is 1 to 30, 1 to 30, 1 to 30. For second customer is 31 to 58. Third customer, next, next value is uh, 59 to 83. Next, 84 to 0, 0. Now, Baker, the service time distribution table. Table 1.3 gives service time, uh, service time distribution for the Baker. So, we will write its value 3, 4, 5, 6, which is given in the question, and its probability value is 0 0.35, 0 0.25, 0 0.20, 0 and cumulative probability for the first uh, uh, number is the first is the point uh, 35 next one is the point 6 next one is point 8 next one is 1.00 so we need to calculate random digit assessment 1 to 35 because I got a cumulative probability is 0.35 next uh, One to thirty-five. Next, I got uh, thirty-six to cumulative probability is sixty. Sixty. Next, sixty-one to cumulative probability is point eight, so eighty. Next, cumulative probability is eighty-one to one we got, so right zero zero. This is an uh, Baker service time distribution table. Now we have to develop a simulation table for six customer. Only six customer. So I will write six customer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 customer and arrival time for the first customer was we got 0, so I will write 0. Next is 2, we will write 2. Next is 5, we will write 5. Next is 8, we will write 8. Next is 11, we will write 11. Next is 12, we will write 12. These arrival times, these arrival times we have written from this table. We have calculated from here. Next, when able is available, when baker is available, server choose random digit for service, service time, able time service begin, time service end, baker time service begin and time service end, time customer wait in a queue, time customer spent in a system, idle time of the server. Initially, both are available at zero. When both are available, as per the question, it says that, the able is more experienced and can provide service faster than the baker, which means that when both are idle, when both are idle, we always have to choose a server as able. So now random digit for first service is in a given in a question is 13. So I will write 13. Then take a random digit 13. The server chosen is able. Then go to able distribution, able service term distribution table. Take 13 and check out 13 is following in this range because we are checking in the able service time distribution table. The reason is that server chosen is able. So 13 is following in this range. Its value is 2. So service time is 2. So we are working with an able means. So time service begin is arrival value at 0. So I will write time, ser time service begin is 0. And time service end is time service begin plus service time. 0 plus 2 is 2. So we are not working with the baker means keep put dash put dash 
we are not working with an uh, able put dash so time customer wait in a queue initially it was a zero at the idle time of the server it was zero time customer spent in a system that is time service end by minus arrival time that is 2 minus 0 is 2 minutes the customer spent in a system next the able is available at 2 i will write able is available at 2 so baker is available at 0 baker is available at 0 so able available at 2 baker available at 0 and the customer is coming at 2 now customer is coming at 2 able is available at 2 and baker is available at 0 in this case when a uh, customer is coming at the same time the able has completed its operation it means again able is free when able is and baker is both are free then server chosen should be able as per the question so the server chosen is able now take a second random number second random number is 61 we will write 61 and the service time take 61 and go to able distribution table uh, able uh, service time distribution table 61 61 falling under this range and its value is 4 so service time is 4 so we are working with an uh, able means the able is available at 2 so able is available at 2 the customer is coming at 2 out of these two which is the maximum value is that that one we have to write as in time service begin now both is having time so I written as 2 so time service end is 2 plus 4 is 6 time service end is 6 so I am not working with the baker so I will write dash dash so time customer wait in a queue so the customer is coming at 2 uh, customer is coming at 2 the server is available at 2 means the customer is not waiting so you will write it as 0 and the idle server is also not waiting I will write it as 0 time customer spent in a system that is time service and 6 minus arrival time 2 will get as in 4 minutes the customer spent in a system next able is available at 6 I will write able is available at 6 Baker is available at 0, still he has not performed the operation. So, server chosen is, uh, the customer is coming at 5. So, able is available at 6, Baker is available at 0, the customer is coming at 5. When the customer is coming, uh, so able was busy. Now, free is Baker. So, server chosen is Baker. Baker. So go to next random number. Next random number is 50, which is given in a question. Random digit for service and is given as a question. So write in 50. Now server chosen is Baker. So take 50, go to Baker distribution table. So 50 Baker distribution table is here. Within this range, we are getting the 50. So its value is 4. So service time is 4. So here we are not working with an able because the able was busy. Where the, where the time of customer is coming so we are working with a baker so arrival time of the customer is 5 the baker is available at 0 out of these two which is the maximum value is there which is the maximum value is there that is become a time service begin so time service begin is 5 so time service end time, uh, time service begin plus service time that is 5 plus 4 9 is a time service end so time customer wait in a queue so customer is coming at a 5 the server is available at 0 and so the customer is not waiting but server is waiting for the customer for 5 minutes so customer is not waiting the server is waiting for 5 the time customer spent in a system time service end minus arrival time so 9 minus 5 is 4 minutes he is spending in a system next Able is available at a 6, Baker is available at a 9, so Baker available at a 9, Able is available at 6. So, customer is coming at 8, customer is coming at 8, Able is available at 6, Baker is available at 9, means the Baker was busy at the time of customer is coming, but the Able was free. So the server chosen is able. So next random number is 49. Take 49 and 
go to able distribution table 49 go to able distribution table so able distribution table the 49 is following in this range its number is 3 i will write service time is 3 so we are working with an able distribution table so the customer is coming at 8 table is available at 6 out of this two which is the maximum value is there that became as time service begins so maximum value is 8 so time service end is 8 plus 3 that is 11 so we are not working with the baker so we'll write dash so time customer wait in a queue so customer is coming at 8 the server was free at 6 now in this case the customer is not waiting but server is waiting for the customer for 2 minutes so idle time of the server is 2 minutes so customer is not waiting so time customer spent in a system that is time uh, time service and minus arrival time so 11 minus 8 will get us 3 3 means the customer spent in a system now able is available at 11 so baker is available at 9 the customer is coming at customer is coming at 11 able is available at 11 baker is available at 9 the customer is coming at 11 when at the time of customer coming both able and baker has been free when both are free then we need to select the server as able because the person said that able is much faster than the baker see the customer is coming at 11 the able has finished the operation at the same time 11 the baker is already finished the operation at 9 now both are free and both are free means we need to choose which server is faster as per the question the server was able was the much faster and more experienced than the baker so we are selecting the able take a next random number next random number was 39 which is given in a question so i'll write 39 so take in uh, 39 and go to able distribution able service time distribution table so 39 is following in this range and its value is 3 so i will write 3 so we are working with an able means so able is available at 11 the customer is coming at 11 so out of this two which is the maximum value is there that became as a time service begins so both having same so at 11 time service and 11 plus 3 will give as an time service and 14 so we are not working with an baker so I'll write dash so time customer wait in a queue so uh, customer is coming at 11 uh, able is available at 11 so here neither customer is waiting nor server is waiting so I'll write 0 for both so time customer uh, spent in a system that is time service and uh, minus arrival time so 14 minus 11 will get as in 3 so 3 minutes the customer spent in a system next the able is available at 14 that is able is available at 14 so I will write 14 so baker is available at 9 the customer is coming at 12 customer is coming at 12 well, at the time of customer coming the able was able was performing the operation the so only the person the baker is been free so the server chosen is baker baker take an next random number server is chosen as a baker take an next random number uh, next random number is 95 so write down 95 95 take 95 go to baker distribution table uh, 95 baker, baker distribution table its value is 6 within this range the 95 will fall its value is 6 so i will write 6 now we are not working with the baker we are not working with uh, we are not working with an uh, able so we are working with an baker so out of this two 12 and 9 which is the maximum value is there that will become a time service begin that is 12 is a maximum so time service begin is 12 so time service end is 12 plus service time 12 plus 6 is 18 so i will write 18 so time customer wait in a queue so time customer wait in a queue means the customer is coming at 12 the server is free at 9 it means here the customer is not waiting but server is waiting for the customer to come how many minutes 12 minus 9 
that is three minutes the server was free so your customer is not waiting so a time customer spent in a system that is time service spent 15 minus minus arrival time to work so the time customer spent in a system is fixed this is an uh, able baker problem or what we call as a uh, multi-channel giving system problem